Hey guys, Glenn Murray, Glenn Murray Online. How are you? It is Saturday morning. Hope you're having a great day. I am going gung-ho on doing videos. I just got a ton of information to share. So today's video is nine ways to make money online. And if you stick around to the end, I've got something, uh, some, some insight that's gonna really help you work on those nine things. Now, if you like videos on making money online, uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below and uh, the little bell and you will get notified when I do a video. Thank you to all my new subscribers. It's awesome that you guys are joining me on this journey. And hopefully I'm, I'm giving you guys some great information on how to make more money online or how to get started making money online. Maybe you're brand new to it. And if you are brand new to it, please stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you some really valuable insight so you don't waste a ton of time, which so many online marketers uh, end up doing at the beginning because we, we, you really spin your wheels at the beginning and we're going to try to teach you some stuff that's going to help you not spin your wheels at the beginning and try to get into uh, the mindset and making money as quick as possible. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share, share my screen with you. And, and guys, there's, there's a couple ways to make money online. There's passive income and active income. Active income is basically you do a task, you get paid. Passive income is that you do a task or you do or you create something that will pay over and over and over. Like let's say you do a blog post that talks about a, a camera, right? You put that blog post up once. You've done the work once, and then you as you drive traffic to it and as it, it as people find it, they're gonna buy it over and over and over again. So so you can make money as a passive income because you've done the work once, but you're going to get rewarded for it over and over and over. That's passive income. And why I really like passive income and I really like info products because info products have a higher commission. Uh, a lot of them are subscription based so you can get recurring income. And once you do the sort of, once you get the ball rolling and you, and you, let's say you do a blog post about uh, a, a certain info product or a, a YouTube video, you can actually, um, that, that video and that blog post will continue to make you money because people will find it and they're like, oh, well, I'm going to check it out and they join and then boom, you're, you're going to continue making money. But there's some mindset you need to, uh, to, uh, really focus on and I'm going to get to that at the end. So let's jump into this. So let's, and these are going to be active and passive income stuff, guys. So let's, uh, I will share my screen here and we're just going to go through them quickly and grab a pen. Uh, write it down or, or notepad or whatever you got. Okay. So the first one is, let's make this my whole screen here. Uh, first one, Upwork. So this is for freelancers. Companies go here, they hire freelancers. If you're good at doing something, maybe you're a coder, maybe you're a graphic designer, maybe you're a writer, well, you can get work here. Now, this is active income. You will do a project and you will get paid for it. So you just go through, put in your uh, put in your information, um, your resume, or put it in your portfolio. The more robust your profile is, the better. Uh, make sure you're good at what you do and you can make some great money here. So that's Upwork and that's number one. Uh, for that's that's basically your number one what or the number one in my list it's not the number one place okay number two is youtube did you know you can monetize oh what happened to my youtube there it is uh did you know that you can monetize youtube so if i go to my channel here uh Basically, I'm working up to um, getting 1,000 subscribers and uh, 4,000 hours of watch time. So basically, you create a channel, you create content, and you get enough content up there so you get to the monetization spot, which is basically 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Once you do that, you can monetize it. You can start running ads on there. Now, the ads can make you as much money as you want as long as you're making content and the longer the content, the better and relative content that people stick around. Why do you think people say, hey, stick around to the end. I'm going to share something with you because they want people watching the, watching their videos longer. And you know what? If you're providing value, people are going to stick around. So that's why we do it. And that's why we ask you to subscribe so that we can we can basically fill up, uh, get up to our monetization. And that's that's your YouTube. And that's what YouTubers do. And you can do it in any niche, guys. You could be a gamer that you just record yourself gaming or you could do toy reviews or camera reviews or travel reviews or affiliate marketing reviews or uh, wine reviews, pool table reviews, <laughs> boats, fishing, whatever. You can do a YouTube channel on anything. Well, as long as it's legal, I guess. Um, well, I, 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 I think. Anyways, so that's YouTube. So what you want to do is you want to create enough content so you get up to the monetization of making money on there. Okay, the next one is Amazon Turk. This is a uh, Basically, it, it's basically just just uh, cross crowdsourcing. It's you know 
It's similar to, uh, uh, very similar to Upwork. It's just Amazon's version of it. It's another great place to 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 make money on online. They they pay for doing tasks and stuff like that. You don't have to be. You don't actually need. Um, you don't always need to do a spe specific goal because the tasks are all different stuff, right? So it's just it's just crowdsourcing. You get paid there. Uh, uh, again, Amazon has self publishing by Kindle. So you go there, you create a a, uh, a a Kindle book, and then when people download it, you get paid for it. And you don't even have to write these yourselves, guys. Come up with an idea. Kind of come up with a broad concept, like a one sheet kind of thing. Go hire someone to write an article for you, or write an article that you turn into an ebook, and then you go sell the ebook. Very brilliant, Very brilliant stuff. Okay, so that's Kindle Publishing. Um, there's ClickBank. This is the largest affiliate marketing product, and this I love. I love promoting ClickBank stuff because it is. Um, it pays very good commissions. It's, most of it is digital products, and a lot of it you'll see. You don't even know that you're seeing a ClickBank product. You're like, oh, that's ClickBank, and this is a great place. And you can do. And you'll see that a lot of guys that train on making money online say, go get a ClickBank account, get a ClickBank link, and go promote it. That's great, but stick around to the end because I want to talk about that because. While that sounds great, there's a lot more behind it than just doing it. And I and I know it's it's it it is simple like that, but there's 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 more to it than just that, okay? It it there's there's some things that you need to have your mind set on and some some basically some tricks and tips that you need to do um, to grow a following, okay? So let's let's we'll, we'll leave that at that. But this is one of my favorite ways to do it, and this guys is passive income. This is a great passive income. Now, Flip is another one. This is where you can uh, <clears throat> buy and sell businesses. Uh, domains is the main thing that they 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 sell here. <coughs> Excuse me. As far as I know, I haven't used Flippa. I know a lot of people have have made a lot of money on Flippa, and a lot of it has been you know selling domains basically. But you can sell businesses, so domain business whatever you want to call it but that's another great way to do it um this take lessons is, is a cool one you can put up if you know how to do something you can create a lesson you can sell it and that's a great way to make money online again this would be a a basically a passive income because you would create the lessons you'd create a portfolio of lessons and then people would just go and they would pay each time they want to take it Fiverr, again, this is a great place if you have a, a certain skill and again, very much like Upwork and Mechanical Turk, it's just, there's, it's people looking for freelancers to come and do stuff and you can find people to do stuff for as little as $5. You don't have to charge $5. A lot of people are, have this misconception that, oh, it's Fiverr, you got to pay five bucks or you have to charge $5. No, you can kind of charge whatever you want. The minimum is $5. And the last one is Shopify. This is drop shipping. So basically, you set up a storefront and you um, basically find the products that you want to sell. Um, you can do it automatically or you can do it manually. And then what you do is you um, source that, that stuff and you just get that company to drop ship for you. You're the middleman. You get to charge whatever lift or whatever amount you want to. So maybe you see something that's out there for five dollars but you know you can sell it in your marketplace for nine dollars and you would find you would then uh create a page charge of nine dollars the company which sh drop ship it for five dollars and you would make the four dollars per thing so that's another way to do it so guys but <clears throat> what i want to talk to you about and this is really uh really important so those are ways that you can make money online and and like i said they're active and passive but what needs to happen is you if you're just getting started, you need to have an entrepreneurial mind. You need a support community um, of, of people that are doing the same thing. Because if you're trying to do it alone, you're going to go down so many dead end paths, right? And you're going to be doing this and be like, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? I I got the ClickBank link and I'm putting it on Facebook. Why isn't it working? It's because you haven't branded yourself and made yourself into an authority. And this is what's really key. And this is what's missing in a lot of the training. You know, a lot of that like, oh, it's simple. Yeah, just do this. Well, it's, it it is that simple. But you have to make yourself a brand. You have to. Why, why would someone listen to you and go join your program or go buy from you or go take your recommendation to go do something, right? And this is what's important. So if you want to really do this and make money and you're set to make money, don't go chasing shiny objects to promote um, click on the link below it is training it is training how to build an online business right it's the very first thing I recommend it it's a ton of training and what's cool is we have a, a, boot, a, a boot camp coming up if you're watching this in the end of September when I'm posting this we've got a boot camp, boot camp coming up October 1st it's gonna be great 30-day boot camp you want to be in that 
it's going to really uh, change your mind, to change your life. Now, if you're if you're watching this after, right? I'm still I'm going to put another link for another company that I've been involved with for quite some time, and it is a community, and it just trains you how to brand yourself. And if you're like, oh, I don't want to brand myself, well, then you're not really thinking about being in business for yourself. And I don't mean branding yourself by being becoming a celebrity. You don't have to become a celebrity to be a brand. You can be the um, well, for better words, you can be the librarian that everyone goes to and asks. So you can be, you can keep your persona. Your persona doesn't have to be over the top and this this animated thing. You can keep whoever you are. You just have to know. You just have to get the right mind mindset that you are the authority figure that they're going to go to. And this is the hardest thing for people to understand. Like this is. This is the key, right? So I want you to check out. I'm, 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 I'm putting two things. I'm putting your my the best business building, right? This is going to train you on how to build a business. And the second one is a community that I really think you should should um, be involved with. Now, why do I say this? Because almost every top earner in the industry on the internet belong to these two companies. This is reality. They use the tools that these two companies use, and that's why it's so important. If it, and it's not about you can build sort of a business in it, but what it is, it's really, it's the support system. It's your aha. It's the training. And what's great about these two platforms is that they're constantly, constantly, I mean, almost daily is giving you new training. So there's people within these communities that are making tons of money and they're going out and they're like, hey, look at I, I learned this YouTube trick. Hey, you know, you, you're, you're, you're seeing chatbots all the time. Well, this is how you do chatbots. Hey, you want to build on Twitter? Well, this is the right, this is the, the best way to build on Twitter very, very quickly. So you start building out your, your brand yourself, right? And again, you don't have to be celebrity. You just create who you are, the, the persona you are. And I talked about this yesterday. And this is what's so important. And so many people miss this and they don't have success. They get frustrated and they quit because they just don't have that 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 authority, right? Um, that people people need in order to buy from you. Now you might say to yourself, well I've never had success with that. I'm a terrible salesperson. It's not about being a salesperson. It's about truly referring something you believe in. So when you, like, say you go to your favorite restaurant, anyone can refer their favorite restaurant because you just talk about it, you get excited. Like, uh, it could be a sandwich place. Like, I love that place, it's the best sandwiches. When you show your passion like that, people are gonna go, oh, I love sandwiches like that, right? Or I, I'm gonna go to that place. Or your favorite burger joint or your favorite movie or whatever it is. That passion that you share within that context of that conversation is how you need to present online. I recommend starting a YouTube channel. Even if you hate doing videos, do it. I recommend having a blog. Even if you hate writing, write it. Because that's what's going to take you to the next level. And if you really can't do that, then maybe you're not a business person. Maybe you it's an idea you have, but you're really not a business person because a business person's mind basically thinks in the, I'm going to do it until. I'm going to learn and do it. I'm going to do this till it works. That's how a business person's mind works, right? And and it's okay to just be an employee and it's that's fine. You don't, it's, it's it, you know, some people are like, oh, quit your job. No, because some people are employees. Some people are just like, that, that's their thing. And I'm, I, I don't think you're, it's less intelligent. It's less anything. It's just you're wired differently. It's just, that's it. There's no, there's no better or worse, right? It's just, that's the way we're wired. And some people that are employees actually take years and they do transition into business people, right? That's the way it goes. And some people don't want to. They're like, you know what? I want to work by 40, 40. I'm going to, I love my job. I love my family. I like my time. I like to turn off the clock, <clears throat> all that stuff. So that's the way it goes. So hopefully this is helpful. Guys, if you find value in this, please comment below. Um, go check out these places to make money and definitely check out the two links below. I, I'm putting, I, I, I'm telling you, don't waste your time. Don't think you know it all. Like, I don't know it all. I've been doing this for years and I don't know it all. I tap into these communities daily. I go on and I find a tip and I learn, I try to learn a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Like, how do I make my videos better? How do I, you know, do all this kind of thing? And, and it's just, it, it's just a process. I keep doing it over, over and over. So that's the nine ways to make money in passive income online. And that's how to basically how to make money online. But it's really get the mindset, get the mindset, get the mindset. So again, if you like this, please share. 
Make sure you subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you guys. And I want to see you in the bootcamp, okay? Join the bootcamp. If you do, grab the link. Go get, get, get. Once you're registered in the bootcamp, come back and, and put, put a comment. Say, yes, I'm in a bootcamp and I will do a shout out for you. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.